doing today? My name is Nicholas. Going to show off my new chain link here. So, that's the, today's subject is this type of toroid coil chain link that I've been having fun tinkering, tinkering, tinkering with for a while. And it needs a little bit of work. It's a little kinked up and, you know, uh, experimental. So the subject is, I'm going to talk a little bit about metaphysics. The, the theory of stones, certain types of rocks, crystals, gemstone, gemstones and such, that could possibly affect or alter your mood. And, you know, I'm, I'm very skeptical about a lot of stuff. And they might just say that stuff to sell rocks. But honestly, I do feel some type of mood altering effects with tiger's eye. I'm using tiger's eye. So, whether or not that's true, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I would like to have some other opinions out there. But there have been times when I've put this necklace on and it feels very energetic. So, whether, uh, whether or not the metaphysical thing, there's something actually going on with the metaphysical stuff, I don't know. But from what I have experienced, I think there might be something to it. Maybe. <sighs> Let's see. I'm also going to talk about electromagnetic coils is what I'm going to do next. So, toroid coils are electromagnetic. So, when you, first off, it needs to be insulated and with an iron core on the inside, and it needs to be uh, linked together on a single wire, and so it's all interconnecting. And if, so that's my next project, going to be doing some electromagnetic chain links next. And the idea is to have a self-contracting, expanding chain link, a magnetic chain link. It's almost the equivalent of reinventing the electric motor. Instead of an electric motor that spins, you have a chain link that contracts. So, possibly even expands. I, there could be also a lot of other electrical phenomenon that can occur when you're using a bunch of toroid coils like this. And... So that's the next project here, and there are 33 rings, 33 rings that go all the way around to back in front. And so the rocks, I use tiger's eye. The rocks really give it a extra, you know, it breathes life. It make it makes the jewelry come alive. That's you know, me possibly stone is more alive than we understand. So one reason why I'm skeptical about the theory of metaphysics and how stones and rocks and such can alter your mood is that this is what the earth is. The earth is a big rock. And, you know, I, 
We don't really get those effects. It doesn't really seem to have much of an effect, but maybe possibly when it's worn on ne next closer to your body, it might have effects of the certain, you know, mood altering effects. Like uh, if you look up uh, Tiger's Eye, it says some of the negative effects are vanity, uh, anxiety and frustration it can ample it, sometimes I, I did experience that uh, well other than the fact that it's very frustrating times but whether or not it was the rocks or not I don't know but so that's the thing I've been kind of playing around with lately is this type of metal fabrication technique. And next, I think I'm going to try making it electromagnetic and see what happens when you discharge a electrical current through the toroid coils. And, uh, It should be interesting. That's almost the equivalent of reinventing the electric motor. It doesn't spin, it pulls or possibly contracts like a muscle. So a kind of like biomechanical muscle. So instead of having like a winch, you need to you take a chain on a winch, hook it up to a truck or something and turn on the winch the winch pulley pulls and contracts the chain. What if you don't need the winch, just use the chain that could possibly manipulate magnetic fields to contract? <coughs> All right. So that's, that's the subject for today. I just want to kind of talk about the art here and the science and so forth. Put magnets in there, possibly. Oh, there's uh, so much more I wanna do with this wire fabrication. So I think it's a great hobby and a lot of fun and uh, gives, if you think about it, it gives everybody the ability to be able to make this stuff at home, you know? pretty much all done by hand. It would come out a lot nicer if uh, had a proper procedure and a workbench and ring sizers and maybe a few other uh, tools to that. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm going to be, I'm going to try to make a tool that can wind these coils a lot faster. That's another project I'm probably going to be working on next. A tool that can wind these chain links a lot faster and possibly make it electromagnetic contracting, expanding chain link and kind of like a metaphysical experiment. I'm not really into that stuff. I don't get, uh, I don't get into all that hoodoo voodoo, uh, Harry Potter mumbo jumbo. I just, uh, I know a lot about it, but I don't get into it. And so, yeah, kind of like an experimental design and it's not perfect. It's, it's, it's got a lot of kinks in it, you know, uh, but still that is pretty cool. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.